Bezrat Hashem Chavra, the Kavit Shabbos Kodesh. I hope everyone is doing well. We're here. We're mamish here one day until Shabbos, less, honestly. And uh, we've been yearning all week long, and we're yearning even more. We feel it. We feel the air coming in. We see it in the skies. We see it with the people everywhere we go. Before we start, feel up a shame, Kol Yisrael. The shame, Kloyisra, for all the people that need it. Pesach for Ubein, Ben Yosef Asar, Bracha Bas Yehudis, Miriam Dori Baschani, Uchavet, Yona Bas Basia, or Bas Rally in the entire world, every single Neshama, every single Neshama, whether they're suffering or struggling spiritually, mentally, physically, in all facets. So to Hashem, my God, and God of my fathers. Help me labor in your holy Torah constantly, day and night, in holiness and purity. Let my Torah study arouse the very roots of the souls of Israel, which stem from the thought of God. All the Jewish souls are rooted in the letters of the holy Torah. Hashem, let my labor in the Torah so radiate that my Torah study will arouse the roots of the souls of Israel until they shine to one another. Even the souls of the wicked and the sinners will shine, inspiring them to repent and come back to you. Every single neshama, everyone in Klai Yisrael. Quick halacha, Hashim Klai Yisrael, Hashim Shemayim. If you are eating an egg and drinking juice, right, we're talking about shahakal now. Last night was uh, about fruits and vegetables. Tonight is shahakal. If you are eating an egg and drinking juice, you save the shahakal on the egg because a solid takes precedence over a liquid. Amazing halakha. Thank you so much. Moving on with joy. Joy, joy, joy. We all just want to feel more joyous. We want more happiness in our lives. We try to be as happy as we can, but we want more. And we just want more faith. Hashem, like give us more faith. Hold on to the good times. This is a very, very awesome idea from Rav Nachman that we learned before, but it's our first time learning it now. You should always try to be happy and serve God with joy. And even if you sometimes fall short of your level, you can still encourage yourself by thinking of earlier times when you did have a taste of the light. This is a Gavaldic, Gavaldic um, Torah from Rav Nachman. How many of us go through our day to day and we and we look at the past say ah oh, what i felt yesterday while being on stealing torah i don't feel today or the way i dove in yesterday shakri i didn't feel that same fire that same passion today during shakri now Rav Nachman is saying something so awesome that you shouldn't be in despair because what you feel like today is not as good as it was yesterday. Rather, you take yesterday, the good stuff from yesterday, and you incorporate that energy, that passion, those sparks into yourself for that moment. And you tell yourself, right now, I'm going to have that fire. Right now, I'm going to have that energy. And those sparks, and mom must turn them into bonfires. All right? So no despair. Rather, use it as motivation, as feel, feel Mamish Gatorade, giving us the electrolytes. A number of blind people can take hold of one sighted person and follow him trustingly. A blind man trusts his stick and follows it even though he sees nothing. How much more should you follow your own self? Because the light did shine on you previously, arousing and inspiring you to serve God. Your inside, your premius, is the stick. Right? Your inside is joy. You wake up in the morning. Your first thought is joy. It's mama's joy. And then seconds later, the thoughts start coming in. What's happening today? Who do I need to speak with? Who did me wrong here? Who did me wrong there? And you start having those doubts. You have, start having those unholy thoughts. And deviating maybe from simcha, from the pure, pure joy. But mamash inside, 
We all we want is joy. We're seeking joy. We're built up from joy. So we have the stick inside of us. We just need to follow that. We need to think back to it all the time. When we have those thoughts that are taking us off a path of joy and questioning us, and we start questioning the world, we start questioning people, refer back to that stick. Refer back to that innocent self, that self of joy, that inner joy. Maybe you feel you have fallen and that your eyes and heart are closed. Even so, you should still hold on to these earlier days, just as you were aroused and encouraged to serve God then. Strengthen yourself now by following the sense of arousal you felt then. The arousal is the stick, Hebra. And God will soon help you, and his light will shine on you again. Even through those times, even through those dark moments or those stale moments, if we continue to follow the stick, Hashem will show us more light, deeper light, more unbelievable light, higher light than we experienced before. Mamash, we have to trust the stick. We have to trust ourselves. Israel Hashem. Torah on Shabbos. Everything's connected to Shabbos. We just spoke about joy. <sighs> amazing, amazing. Dazer percent. You take, you take every Shabbos and you take those gifts from Shabbos. And that will light you up for the week for preparation for the next Shabbos. And the next Shabbos will just be higher. Everything's connected to Shabbos. So everybody knows that some people say in a rushed, muffled voice, even a low voice, good Shabbos, and are already pulling away their handshake because they're thinking about their chicken soup. This is from the Book of Love and Prayer. If they're ordering herring, They'd say it with more joy. But some people do know how to say good Shabbos in the warmest, sweetest way. Good Shabbos, good Shabbos. Right? Saying Shabbos twice is so deep. Instead of just saying it in a rushed voice, good Shabbos, good Shabbos. I have so many things I need to worry about on Shabbos. You can't just say good Shabbos one time. You have to say it twice. Good Shabbos, good Shabbos. Good Shabbos, good Shabbos. Did you ever hear the most assimilated Jew saying good Wednesday or good Thursday? Or without saying anything bad, a non-Jew saying good Sunday? <laughs> it's funny stuff, Kevin. But serious. You only have Shabbos if you are longing for it, right? We're longing for Shabbos. We're trying to long for Shabbos every single day. Right? We're counting down the moments. We're counting down the seconds, the days. You have it if you miss it all the time. If we miss Shabbos constantly, we have Shabbos all the time. I love this, uh, love this uh, mushal or analogy with the Malava Malka. Right? The Malava Malka, imagine you, you're with your best friend. Your best friend comes in, let's say, uh, from Tinek or, or from the city. They come into Israel, and you haven't seen your best friend in so long. So long, and it was so amazing being with your best friend. But then it's time to leave. Your friend is ready to go back to America, and you go to him, you go with him to the airport, and you say goodbye. You give him that hug. And then you guys start walking in your own directions, in your own ways. He's going towards uh, the check in, I'm going towards the exit. But then we both look back at each other at the same time. And we give each other that look. Oh my gosh, I don't want to leave you. And you go in for another hug. That's the beloved Maka. We just can't let go. We need another hug of Shabbos. So the mitzvah of Shabbos is Shabbos itself. When Shabbos comes, I'm yearning to serve God in the most infinite way. During the week, my finite and infinite selves are apart. On Shabbos, my finite and infinite selves are brought together. Mamish together. The Yid HaKadosh says, I believe the Yid HaKadosh, I actually just learned today, that he was the Rabbi of Reb Simcha Bonim of Shizcha. The Yid HaKadosh says so famously, some people eat fish on Shabbos, and some people eat Shabbos on Shabbos. So everybody knows that Shabbos is different from other holidays. 
The Talmud, the Gemara explains that if there were no Jews in the world, there would be no Jew, Jewish holidays. But Shabbos would always exist, even if there were no Jews to observe it. Because on Shabbos, something special happens in the world. We all know this, Chavar. Something happens. God opens up the gates and something very holy comes down to us from heaven. All we have to do is pick it up. So the infinite light of Shabbos is there. Our finite and infinite selves are coming together. All we have to do is get rid of the umbrella. Get rid of the umbrella and just get drenched by the rain of Shabbos. The rain of Shabbos is just pouring rain. All Shabbos of holiness. And all we have to do is get drenched. Chavra, Bezrat Hashem, we should take the Torah from, from, uh, from joy from Rav Nachman, the halacha from Shehakal, the prayer from Torah study, and Shabbos, 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 Shabbos. When we see our friends in the street, when we see strangers in the street, really our brothers and sisters, we say good Shabbos, good Shabbos. Not good Shabbos, I'm thinking about my soup, I'm thinking about the herring, the kiddush. It's good Shabbos, good Shabbos. I'm present with you and I'm remembering Shabbos with you. Chavar Bezrat Hashem. Questions, comments, Tamar. Indescribable. Amazing. Chavar, we should all be well. We should all be healthy, happy, and successful and have the best, most highest Shabbos of our lives. Chavar will continue. Bezrat Hashem next week.